All right, we're adding a couple more notes to the bass clef, to, to our bag of tricks in the bass clef. We already know E, F, and G, these three notes. And we're going to add the two notes, the two white notes that are to the left of that group. So this is D and this is C. As you might imagine, the letter that comes before E in the alphabet is D, and the letter that comes before that in the alphabet is C. So we now know five, these five pitches, C, D, E, F, and G. And you want to be thinking about these in terms of how they line up with these groups of black notes. So the D is right in the middle of a group of two black notes. So I can find all the Ds on the keyboard, and actually you should do this with me. Find all the Ds on the keyboard, and I'll let you finish the rest. But basically you want to quickly use your eyes to find a group of two black notes and play the one in the middle, and you can even say D, 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 as a way to sort of train your brain to recognize that quickly. Same is true with the C, it's the, it's the note that's just to the left of the two black notes, so you want to find all the Cs on your keyboard as fast as you can. Whatever, I'll let you find them. But you want to quickly look, find a group of two, and then the white note that's just to the left of that is your C. So we now know C, D, E, F, and G, and that's in the bass clef. So that's why I'm playing with my left hand. And I wanted to explain one other interesting thing, which is that the bass hand often moves between one, the one and the five. So you remember we were talking about scale degrees in a, in a past recent video. If we were in the key of C, for example, we'd have the scale degrees one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So when I say the bass moves between the one and the five, I'm saying that it moves between the one and the five like scale degrees. So a bass line might be like And it usually goes somewhere else, but the one and the five is really important for the, the bass move in the left hand. So in your next exercise, I'm going to have you play a lot of ones and fives. So if it's in the key of C, you're, you're looking for C's and G's. If it's in the key of F, you're looking for F's and C's. One, two, three, four, five. And it might be this F and this C. Okay, so pay attention to that. The next exercise is gonna force you to think about ones and fives in the left hand.